Well, moving on to still agriculture news and a few days after Mumia's sugar company suspended the reopening of the milling plant due to an increase in fuel prices, the miller's troubles have gone a notch higher after auctioneers came knocking demanding key assets. Katie's Willie Lusige now reports on the intrigue surrounding the troubled company. Troubled Mumia's sugar company was expected to roll back to life a week ago. But a set of new challenges have emerged after auctioneers moved in to repossess assets worth millions of shillings. All of a sudden we saw now the auctioneer coming and claiming we have to pay his charges. Then now, yesterday we get now a really good order. Farmers have vowed not to allow any auctioneers to repossess assets belonging to the company as they have clearly stated that the factory is in the final stages of its recovery. Kama wakazi wa hapa, hatuta kubali jambo hilo litendeke tukiwa hapa. Tunakubali tutakufa hapa, lakini hakuna mtu ambaya tabeba mali ya mumia sugar company. The miller has remained in loss-making territory even after receiving government bailouts worth nearly 3 billion shillings that have not pulled out the miller out of its debts. The company currently owes farmers 600 million shillings. The has promised to give us uh, uh, about 3 billion. Uh, we hope it, uh, we will get uh, it is very soon, but it's still a drop in the ocean because the whole debt is over 20 billion. The government, which owns 20% of the farm, has pledged additional bailouts on the miller on condition it trims its workforce, which stands at 1,400 to 600. The staff we are having, I wouldn't say it is too high, but we will also try to look at every job and uh, we look at the description and uh, map it. So we might have something like uh, less than 1,000 workers. Eventually that will be the payroll we are looking at. Willie Risigekatian News, Mumia's Sugar Factory.